Hello all, in this video I'll be talking about National Dewarming Day which we observed uh, yesterday in all the schools but still I feel and we have observed that there is a lack of awareness on this issue so hence this video so we will go through a presentation which is prepared by the uh, health department and uh, which is mainly aimed at uh, making uh, spreading awareness among the education department the teachers and everyone involved so that the process is uh, much more uh, uh, smoother the next time this uh, mop-up rounds are there and even the next rounds of uh, national dewarming are there so first of all i would like to um, acknowledge the contributions of dr b Molong, the joint director who has prepared this presentation and who has shared uh, with uh, us so that it can be uh, awareness can be made to everyone so as you can see uh, this is a little background on the um, what is this dewarming and why do we do it so there are uh, certain issues with the soil transmitted helminthiasis which is caused by infection uh, with these all kind of worms which are present everywhere and as the parasite eggs are excreted in the feces so wherever we see open defecation uh, being although uh, like we don't have that in Meghalaya but sometimes uh, it can be observed as well uh, so that is the main um, cause of uh, the spreading of these kind of worms these are intestinal worms uh, are parasites that live in our in intestine taking away nutrients from our bodies and this can lead to problems of uh, blood loss poor nutrition and stunted uh, growth india is endemic to this sts and the preven prevalence data ranges from 12 to 83 percent across states so that is like quite a bit and uh, Meghalaya is, uh, of course, we are all working together, health department and education department to, to because most of the cases are seen in children. So that is why this is administered between this ages of 1 to 19. The albendazole, the tablet which is given uh, for deworming is albendazole as per the WHO guidance. And then, um, of course, it has been shown that uh, this follow-up and this twice-a-year deworming and all has shown significant decline in prevalence rate of uh, this STH um, and other related uh, diseases. So this is something which we want to um, do it even in a better way. So now, what is this worm? Worm are parasites that thrive on nutrition from the human intestine. It's like these tiny worms, which you can see the pictures as well, the hook worm, the whip worm, the round worm. Now, what are the symptoms? Severe infection can cause a range of symptoms, including diarrhea, abdominal pain, weakness, vomiting, loss of appetite. The greater the amount of worms in a child, the more symptoms the affected individual will have. Children with mild uh, infections usually show no symptoms. Now, as you can see how, you know, this warm transmission cycle. So, so open defecation, we have to totally, uh, you know, ensure that that is not happening in our surroundings. So that is the one thing we have to ensure. And how do we prevent this warm infection? Uh, infection? So essentially, if you see, it's about cleanliness and hygiene. Keep your surroundings clean, use the toilets, wash your hands wash your food properly you know keep uh, every uh, everything clean so if you do this drink clean water and then you know it's it will significantly reduce so what is the treatment so just to ensure that uh, we don't have it so that's why twice a year we do this deworming and worm infestation can be treated by albendazole tablet now benefits of course if you do this then it, it improves uh, immunity it increases nutritional uptake in especially in children prevents stunting controls anemia anemia which is a big problem in our state and helps to reduce worm infestations in the community improves um, concentration and attendance in school so this is very very important so uh, we have given a school calendar as you are aware uh, on which i also have made a detailed video so you can watch that as well uh, but we have very less uh, school days because of the weather because of the heavy rainfall and severe weather conditions and of course the number of holidays which are already there so if k if the children are um, not healthy and uh, so they lose out on the days and uh, that is a big problem so we have to ensure that our children are healthy uh, so that you know the attention span is there and then they don't miss out even a single day uh, in the school 
as i as to as a student i remember i almost my attendance was 100% uh, even in college for that matter and it helps that uh, you are fit and healthy so that you don't miss out uh, on on school days you know for for reasons of not being well feeling weak you know all those things so we have to ensure that our children are healthy so this deworming is uh, is one step towards that direction as well so to ensure that it happens in a uh, in an organized way so this is uh, organized twice a year and for meghalaya it's april and october so on this day children aged 1 to 19 get deworming tablets at schools and anganwadis and then those who can so what happens is like we did yesterday and some people uh, may have missed out because some students are not present there may be logistics issue of tablets not reaching the school etc etc there can be many reasons so this period can be used and there will be a mop up round also so that on the mop up round uh, if those who are left out will be taken uh, will be administered the tablet so that we reach out to everyone so these are the dates for this year and uh, it keeps on changing every year so uh, be, you should be in touch uh, so that is why we have made this uh, kind of uh, social media handles for education department so that you are make uh, you made aware of all these things so please follow uh, all our social media handles in future uh, you'll get all important information uh, of course uh, you know as uh, uh, as and when required i'll make that awareness videos on my youtube channel but the main source of information please follow all the social media handles of the department so now this is the implementation uh, strategy see i mean everyone is involved again it's like a mammoth task the anms the school teachers the ashas you know, the students education department health department everyone is involved in this whole uh, strategy uh, and this is uh, the um, how to administer so one or two two years of course it's uh, very difficult uh, for that uh, kid to take that uh, term so it is uh, advised as per the health department to administer half of the albendazole tablet to children aged one to two by thoroughly crushing it between two spoons and then mix it with small amount of water and then give it to the child and then two to five also you can do the same thing with the with the full tablet uh, by crushing it between the two, mixing it with water, that's the best. And for remaining, uh, you, it's a chewable tablet. So uh, you, you can chew it and then have water. So uh, these are the ways um, of, um, you know, administer the administering the tablet. So this is, yeah, just look at the penetration. Uh, so our reach in the year 2023 first round was 93, 92%, which is uh, very good but then in the second round it came down so now we want to achieve more this year uh, so let's hope it's 100 percent this year both rounds in case of uh, any issues uh, um, just uh, if it feels uneasy uh, then um, make the child lie down in open shaded area and give some water and if the uneasiness is still there please contact the nm and uh, asha for immediate attention it's a chewable tablet so it has to be chewed properly it has to be you know um, it's not a side effect choking is not a side effect of albendazole and that's why they have to make sure that it's chewed properly uh, so that there's no uh, issue in case of any issue uh, of course everywhere we have sub centers and anms and asha so please reach out to them but this is something which is um, very uncommon now education department so it has to be done uh, of course the health department is driving it but uh, the, all the coordination is also being done by education department it has to be planned properly orientations have to happen at the district level uh, that all will be ensured by the district level officials sensitization of parents is also important so when you call them for ptas and all you know this should be one of the agendas along with of course the uh, iron folic acid tablets you can organize uh, competitions uh, themed on this because awareness, uh, you know, constant awareness should be done, especially of the on, uh, about the parents, on the children, about the importance of these deworming, and reports are very very important. So you have to report also. So what are the roles and responsibilities of teacher before? So before the day warming, uh, deworming day, please ensure the stock is sufficient. So contact your nearest health center for that. Keep A&M and local health center contacts accessible. Yeah, so this is very important, not just in this case. Uh, you should be in touch with your uh, nearest health center. That can be a sub-center, PHC or CHC. Uh, in case of any health emergency, uh, it's not just during this uh, day, but... Um, 
otherwise also on any day if any child is not feeling good so you should be in touch with your anm and with your local health center so that immediately medical help can be given inform parents uh, yeah so this is that you can do uh, during the pta display iec material like posters and all that you can make in the form of a mural or a poster or a bill bala feature you can introduce reporting format get ready for reporting format ensure availability of on the day of day warming what you have to do is that ensure availability of clean water because you'll have to children have to take water after that tablets and uh, all these registers and all that ensure supervised administration so don't just leave it to the children uh, it should be supervised by the nodal teachers chewing has to be done properly uh, and then you can avoid deworming uh, children who are sick uh, who are not feeling well so uh, these and after deworming count and report this is very important so that we know how much is the penetration nodal officer compiles the report so now what we are going to do in the coming um uh, days uh, that we are introducing the feature of reporting through the tims app itself so what happens is a lot of paperwork and there are so many reporting reporting avenues so it becomes difficult for our teacher so one of our uh, task right now is to minimize all these work for our teacher so every reporting will be done through tims from now onwards so if you have not downloaded till now please do it immediately it's for all teachers uh, it will be very useful for you and you will find it very convenient so all the reporting this ifa also uh, me midday i mean sorry pm portion meals reporting also teacher attendance everything will be doing through tims so this is the recording and uh, you know this is the format and these are the posters which have been circulated and uh, awareness is there so uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this and share this video to those who are still not aware especially teachers who are still not aware about this deworming and let us make all the teachers parents everyone aware on the deworming so that uh, yesterday of course we already did the first round uh, but the mop up is uh, still to come so that on the mop up we can cover everyone so this happens every year twice and it's very important uh, to keep our children healthy so hope you will share this with everyone concerned and uh, thank you for watching and uh, keep watching keep sharing these awareness videos the aim is to reach out maximum people through these kind of videos and with your support i'll continue to do that thank you have a good day